Hey everyone, this is Jeremy and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by Techful Tuts. And today we'll be creating some kind of flyby effects for beginning titles or trail titles using a preset from Nahuel VFX. Uh, the preset uh, link will be in the sidebar. It's really easy to install. Just drag and drop to preset folder and everything should work out for you. Okay, so here's what we'll be creating. Okay, so we have a music background which is from Frost Course by Video Copilot, and uh, we have some very simple flyby effect with uh, some particles in the background and a gradient background. So I'll show you how to do this very easily. Okay, so let's close out this. So let's go up, open up After Effects for a new project, and let's go to Composition New. Composition. I set mine to NTC D1 white screen square pixel, pixels, and this is going to be uh, 29.97 frames per second. Square pixel is great, and duration 15 seconds is okay. Click on OK. Great. Okay, so I'm going to set it to fit. And so we start off by simply creating a new solid. So right click in the comp area, new solid. As create it and name it BG for background. Make comp size and black is great. Okay, so the next step is to go to effect, generate ramp. Okay, so we have this uh, pretty uh, generic black to white ramp, linear ramp. So we're going to change the ramp shape to radial and change the color. So we want the end color to be the black and the beginning color to be some kind of a dark blue so let's, that's good that looks good and we want to bring that dark blue and press shift to maintain, uh, maintain it into the uh, straight line and bring it down to the middle and we want to zoom out so we want to bring the black one down a bit so we have a nice looking ramp okay so we're done with that solid and create a new one right click new solid make comp size and we're name it going to name it sorry particles so it's going to be our particle layer uh, change the color to white actually you know make it black sorry okay, just keep it black and we'll change this uh, to a actually so great since we're not going to change them. That's actually good. Never mind this. Okay, so on our particle layers, go to Effect, Simulation, CC Particle World, right there. Okay, so now we have this uh, very simple um, explosion, kind of volcano like. We bring the opacity, the uh, resolution to half so it's fast, renders faster. Okay, so the grid we're gonna set it to off, and we don't care about scrubbers. Okay, so birth rate is gonna bring it down. Uh, set minus. I've seen that 1.3 is great. Longevity one second is good, and we want to actually make the producer. The position is just it's great middle right there. So we increase the radius. So you see here it extends itself on the x-axis, on the y-axis. And also on the Z axis, so we have some kind of 3D looking thing. Yeah. So we want to bring the physics up and uh, physics tab here. And we're going to bring the velocity down to zero and the gravity maybe to 0 0.1. Sorry, not m point one, zero point one. And uh, that's going to be what we can do. Okay, so we have those uh, particles just falling now. 0 0.1 is a bit too much. So we bring it down to 0 0.0. Actually, 0 0.01. Actually, the one I want. Okay, so you see, we can have some uh, drizzle coming down. Okay, so let's close our physics. Now, now go to particle. 
and change the particle type to lens convex. So now we have those black dots really appearing. Okay, the reason why I kept the uh, the solid color to be the black is because is because the uh, lens convex actually use the solids color. So if we change here, go to layer solid settings, and we change this to uh, red. It will be red. So let's bring it down here. Okay, so we have now uh, our simple particles there. Now you see on the preview I've made, uh, showed you, they are smaller and less opaque, more transparent. So just gonna bring it down just a little bit there and make the maximum opacity to about 45. So we have some uh, more subtle movement right there. Okay, so now let's go to the fun part and let's go ahead and create a new null object and we need to make sure to rename this auto titles just like this. So uppercase A U T O uppercase T I T L E S and that's for the preset we're gonna use which is not the preset I've made it's just a preset that I found up online okay so now our other titles great and let's go ahead and create a new camera and 35 millimeter, millimeter preset is great and uh, let's go ahead and uh, do the effects and presets and just type in auto titles right there so titles, so we have auto titles layer, null or text. I'm gonna bring the null to the auto titles layer. Great. So now this app disappears right there. Great. And we're gonna link the camera, uh, the parent, to the auto title. So it's linked. Great. Okay, so now we're gonna right click. Actually, no, we're not gonna right click. We're gonna choose the text tool. Bring out the title action safe, bring into the middle, and just gonna type in uh, tech full thoughts. Let's bring it down. That there, okay, and let's bring the bring it down here, center it. Great. Okay, so now it's centered. Get rid of this title action safe. Okay. Now we have a textful touch layer, and we want to apply the other titles text to the text itself. So now, right now, you see it automatically uh, scaled it up, and now it's going to go down and go away okay so here's how it works basically it scales up then scales down and then the tracking increases and then after it gets to the end of the layer so the layer here the layer uh, time it fades out and just disappears so to get the better effect we're actually going to bring it Right there, we can set it to about one second. See, great, and it goes away. But we're going to change some settings here. We actually want to go to the auto titles, and the effects going to come up. Okay, so first of all, the scale, the main scale, is when it's right there. Okay, so it's set to 12. I actually want to bring it down to zero. Okay, so we have our main scale. It goes down to zero, then it fades out. Okay. Uh, the in scale is right there, so we want to actually increase it a whole lot. Not too much though. So that's about good. In time. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, preview that. 